Erickson, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. Hey, Erickson, first of all, I want to ask you, co-main event of a card like this down in Atlanta, you know, how are you feeling? I'm excited, man. You know, um, had a tremendous training camp. I'm ready to rock. I've seen you focus before because I've known you since you were 18 years of age. But, and this is no exaggeration, this is the most focused that I've ever seen you. Is this the best you're feeling in your professional career? This has been the best camp of my, my whole career, and I think this is going to be my best performance. I'm locked in. I'm ready. I'm ready to rock and show the world. So, Erickson, I read comments from you that said that this was a 12-week training camp. Now, typically, training camps, from what I understand in boxing, typically 8 to 10 weeks. Why the 12-week training camp for this one? Well, it might have been even longer than that because, you know, I've, I've been in the gym since my last fight. I just wanted to, you know, stay in the gym, stay in shape, you know, not deal with any weight problems or nothing like that. You know, I, I never really uh, have a problem making 154. But, you know, I just didn't want to get out of shape and just um, still focus and just perfect my craft so that, you know, um, on Saturday night, it all, it all, the hard work's all going to pay off. Well, it's been paying off in your career thus far. You've won five straight, including an impressive victory over Terrell Gachet, the 2012 United States Olympian. What did you learn in that fight against Gachet? Um, taking my time, you know, uh, Gachet, he, he, he's, he's cut from the same cloth as me. You know, we, we come from the same pe uh, pedigree. And, you know, he, he, another skillful fighter, real technical. And um, I just learned to take my time and just, um, you know, I had another boxer in front of me. So I had to, you know, really, like, had to put my boxing skills to work. Well, you definitely demonstrated that. And also, I think you showed your chin because, you know, he did go ahead and land a clean shot in the 10th, 10th round. And you recovered well and just kind of went about your business. I mean, you didn't panic at all and, you know, went back at it. And then you attacked him in the 12th round. Yeah, absolutely. That's what, that's what champions do. You know, this is boxing. You're going to get hit. You might get hurt. So, you know, it's how you bounce back. How you so get, now taking back. on – go ahead. No, nah, we good. We good. Go ahead. I said taking on Jason Rosario. Uh, obviously, he's coming off of losing at the hands of Jamel Charlo. But he's still a heavy-handed power puncher. Why the fight with Rosario, and can you tell us how the fight came about? Well, I don't want, I don't, I, I don't like uh, any tune-up fights. You know, I don't need no tune-up fights. I want the best guys in the division, so that you know, by the time is um, time for me to fight for the titles again, and me become a champion, I'm gonna have beaten um, pretty much the whole division. I want to be able to, I want to be that guy that 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 pretty much beat the whole division and proudly be able to say it. Um, I'm not. I'm not ducking nobody. I want the best fights, so that you know when it's time for me to fight, you know, for the belt. Like I said, they they say I I I've beaten everybody. So when I look at you, Erickson, and the fact that you've been a pro since 2013, November of 2013, I look at you like being a young veteran. Do you feel like now you're really coming into your physical prime along with your ring IQ inside that ring? Absolutely, absolutely. I think so. You know. I went for the title at just 22 years old, a couple of days, uh, couple of days um, after turning 22. And, you know, I, I made a mistake and went in there a little bit too early and just got caught with a good shot. You know, it's boxing. But um, now I feel like I'm way more ready. I'm more primed, I'm more seasoned. And, you know, it'll be different results the next time. There's also an intensity that I see in a focus from you because – when you were, you know, 18, 19, 20 years old, you had these natural physical gifts and you were blowing people away with that. But now I feel like everything is really coming together with your approach in the gym, you know, your ring IQ, working with Kevin Cunningham. Is that fair to say that things are coming together for you at this point? Absolutely. I got with Kevin Cunningham a couple of years ago and, you know, it is definitely what I needed. I moved out of my hometown and I just got with Kevin Cunningham. I wanted to get uncomfortable. You know, I wanted to get comfortable with being uncomfortable, and that's what we did. I feel like I, I've been learning so much with him. I learned so much inside the ring, outside the ring, and I think it's exactly what I needed for my career. Kevin Cunningham's one of those trainers that's also very no-nonsense as well. He seems like almost kind of drill sergeant-like, but also, you know, he looks after you. You know, he does that because he cares for his fighters. Can you tell us about you know, training under Kevin and the kind of different things that he does to try to motivate you and get the maximum potential out of Erickson Lubin. 
Well, you said it, man. He's no nonsense, you know, and he's he's really hands on. So when you're going running, he's behind you in the truck. When you ask <laughs> when you ask strength and conditioning, he's right there with you. So he must uh he's all in, and that that that's exactly you know, um, exactly what I need in, in my corner. Somebody that's like that, you know. I still got Jason Galarza with me. That's like my father. He's a father figure of mine. He's still with me. He does the same thing, you know. And it, it, the two they they correlate together real well. What I love about that whole situation, Erickson, is that Jason was your lead trainer for years and years and years, and then you decided to, you know, go with Kevin Cunningham, but Jason was still a part of your team and, and will never not be a part of your team. You know, there's a, a family and a camaraderie, a bond that you all share together. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's deeper than boxing when it comes to uh, me and Jason and the Galarzas, you know, that's that's been family from the start, you know, they... They they took me in at a very young age when I had nothing. So, you know, I just feel like it, it's my job to go ahead and repay them like that and just keep them with me. And, you know, it, it's not even a repay. It's just like, you know, it's just natural. It's just who, who, I, who I rock with and who I trust and believe in. How do you like the fact of fighting in Atlanta for a card of this magnitude? I mean, you know, ATL... I Man, just, are they going to come out on Saturday? Man, I feel the vibes already. I just got here and I'm ready, man. You feel the energy already, huh? Yeah, I'm ready. Erickson, for you as well, when it comes to when you're working with Kevin Cunningham, how difficult is it to not overtrain? Because I see photos, and, and Kevin's been putting stuff out on social media. You look in unbelievable shape. How do you um, you know maintain that you don't overtrain? Well, you know, it's, it's like a, it's a method to it. You know, Kevin, he, there's days where I, I don't train or there's, there's some days where I, like, lightly train or, you know, he, he knows when to get me off and on. He knows I, when to go ahead and pull that switch and just, like, turn it on and off. Okay. So in, when it comes to going ahead and, and with, you know, making sure that you can turn it on and off and stuff like that, you know, you're away from your family, I assume, in, in training camp. You know, how do you keep yourself busy? I know you're a very proud family man, but in between training camps, do you watch boxing? Do you like to, you know, play video games and stuff like that? Yeah. Well, yeah, only, only during training camp, I really play video games. So I've been playing video games a lot. Uh, I, I'm always watching boxing, always watching old school boxing, even the newer guys coming up, and I, I, I just keep myself busy. Just you know, I got, I got, I got my brothers with me too as well. So I just, I, I literally just be in the house, really, just chilling, not doing too much. Who are some old school fighters that you like and appreciated, and you kind of want to go ahead and carve out your own legacy? Who are some fighters? Floyd Mayweather. I, um, you know, that's always been, you know, one of the goats in my opinion. Is the goat. Marvin Hagler, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, um, Pernell Whitaker. Watch all those guys. Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali. Watch all those guys. Getting back to Rosario, he's now working with Herman Caicedo. He decided to part company with his old trainer. You worked with Herman as well. I mean, it's that Florida connection. It's a very, you know, tight-knit group down there. But what are you expecting out of Rosario coming up on Saturday in the co-main event on Showtime Pay-Per-View? I'm expecting the best Rosario to be out there. You know, that's how I train. That's what keeps me motivated. That's what keeps that fire in me. You know, so I, I expect the best Rosario to be out there. And, you know, um, that's, what, that's what I'm looking forward to is, is the best Rosario. You know, I know, I know Herman, he's a, he's, a, he's a good trainer as well. I've worked with him. But um, I just feel like there's levels to this. Not giving away your game plan, Erickson, but where do you feel you have the advantages over Jason Rosario? I feel like I got the uh, advantage in almost every every department. I think you know the powers. You know, people talk about his power, but I got power too. I got I got big punching power as well. I can knock somebody out with, with just one punch as well. So, uh, and everything else, I feel like I, I I got the advantage in. I got the advantage with the ring IQ. I got the advantage with the with the speed. I got the you know I, I feel like I got the overall advantage. Now, this is a loaded card from top to bottom, Erickson, but are you of the mindset that you look at Jason, I'm sure you're going to see each other at the press conference tomorrow. Are you guys kind of going to be of the mindset, let's go and steal the show on Saturday night? Well, yeah, that's my plan for sure, to go out there and steal the show. You know, that's why, that's why I'm here. That's why, you know, it's hammer time on Showtime. 
<laughs> also, Erickson, being a father, uh, how old is your son now? I mean, I remember when he was just a little baby. What is he, two, three years old now? Nah, he's about to be four. He's three years old. He's about old. to be four. Oh, my gosh, man. How quick did they grow up? Couple days. Man, oh, man. What has that been like over the years? And now that you're watching him, you know, grow and, and really pick up on things, how, how is that like being, you know, in the middle of fatherhood in many aspects? It's a, it's a blessing, man. It's a blessing. You know, I'm a big role model to him. And he picks up uh, a lot of things that I do, a lot of things that I say. You know, it's like a mini me. And I'm a proud father, man. So does he come to the gym with you at times? Does he visit you in training camp? Or will he be at the fight on Saturday? It'll be at the fight on Saturday. But, yeah, he um he comes to the gym sometimes. Um, he's picking up on boxing, too. He likes it a lot. Sometimes he just looks at me and wants to wants to fight. He wants to shadow box. He <laughs> loves, loves it. You might have a, a future amateur champion out there for you, huh? Oh, man, that's crazy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now, sparring partner-wise, I know you've gotten a lot of good work in, but who are some guys you've been working with in preparation for Jason Rosario? Big power puncher, likes to throw big shots, has a good, you know, motor and a gas tank, but who are some guys you've been working with in sparring? Uh, I've been working with Kyron Davis, you know. Um, he fought Anthony Durrell back in February. Yeah, he fought Anthony Durrell. Um, uh, Jonas Silvan. He's um he's two and zero. He's 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 a real good up and coming fighter. Um, me and Leon Lawson, we've been in the ring as well. Yeah, um, he's got a fight coming up on Sunday or the day after you. Yeah, hey, that's Nate Gallimore, one of your former opponents. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be exciting. Uh, I think Leon's gonna take him. Okay, now but, I, and then who else? Um, there's a few other guys. Can't um don't really know their names like that. Yeah, yeah, guys or. Um, some guys from over there in South Florida, but I've been getting some real good work in. You know, I'm ready to fight now. You know, the the hard the hard hard part's over with. Now it's time to have some fun. So the winner of this fight, Erickson, from what I understand, will get a guaranteed title shot. Correct? Is is that what you've been told? I mean, that's under the I'm under the assumption of when it comes to reading reports and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say uh, this is the final final eliminator. So the winner, you know. Um, pretty much gets all four belts, a shot at all four belts because, you know, Jamel Charlo and Brian Castaño, they fighting for the undisputed title. So, you know, hopefully hopefully we can get the winner of that. So if in a perfect world, you know, assuming things go your way on Saturday, who do you want to see win on July 17th between Charlo and Brian Castaño? May the best man win, but you know, you know what I, you know what I want. I want my rematch. I want some get back. But right now, my 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 main focus is on Jason Rosario. Not worry too much about what Charlo got going on or what Brian Castaño got going on. We here to take care of business. Are you glad that following your loss, the road hasn't been the easiest for you, and you've been able to mature in the ring and everything else instead of having one fight? and then another world title shot? Or would you have rather had one fight and then a crack at the title? Um, I, I kind of I kind of like that uh, the steps that we're taking now. We're fighting these significant opponents, the, the top guys in this weight class. You know, so these are definitely the fights that I needed under my belt, you know, to, to mature in that ring and get the experience that I need. And, you know, there's no, uh, there's no doubt in my mind that I'm ready for a title now. And the familiarity also with Kevin Cunningham, because I've heard two different schools of thought. One, when you, tr when you switch to a new trainer, it takes a few fights to get acclimated. Do you feel the same way, or do you feel after that first fight, you and him were just locked in step, or has it taken a few fights to really fully get to that high-level chemistry? Well, we, 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 we actually like took about eight, nine months before we even fought. And we just trained pretty much every every day. We was in the gym all the time with each other and just getting real, like, used to each other. So by the time we fought, we was ready. And that's when we fought Ishe Smith. And, you know, um, we took care of business that fight. And then, you know, now we're here. We're, we're about to go against Jason Rosario. And we, we plan on taking, taking care of business this fight. I feel like if you could fight tonight, you would do so because, I mean, I just feel that energy and that excitement, you know, coming I'm, through the screen. I'm ready. I was ready to fight weeks ago. I'm ready. I've been in shape. I, I, I ain't really, you know, I stood disciplined for a very long time. You know, I, I didn't really 
see the outside like that. I stood in the house. I, I, I chilled with my son. I chilled with my, my family. I'm ready to fight. So how do you now, as we're heading towards Thursday, Friday, you know, the weigh-in on Friday, fight Saturday, how do you relax when you know that there's so much on the line and you have such a massive opportunity in front of you, in front of thousands of people on worldwide television pay-per-view on Saturday? So how do you relax? This is what I do. Ain't no pressure. Ain't no pressure. It's just, you know, it's calm before the storm. I'm chilling right now. You know, then, then you know, Friday comes the weigh-ins and I just get more and more calm and then I unleash it all in the ring. I know you fought in the bubble last time. How glad are you to have fans back, and not only fans back, but full capacity back on Saturday night on the undercard, the co main event of Davis and Barrios? Hot Atlanta, man. Hot Atlanta going to be crazy on Saturday. I can't wait. It's going, I'm, 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 I'm happy, you know, it's not, it's not the bubble situation anymore. You know, we're, we're in front of fans. I can fight in front of my, my friends, my family, my son. So, you know, I'm, I'm ready to go ahead and take full advantage of this. There's How many people are coming from Orlando to Atlanta to watch you fight? I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even pay attention. I just know a lot of people is going to be there. So how do you, you know, balance? I'm sure people have been hitting you up. Do you have, you know, is Jason or do one of your friends or family, are they handling the ticket request? Because I'm sure it's through the roof right now. Yeah, 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 for sure. I got other people taking care of that. I'm, I'm focused on the fight. I'm not worried about all of that. All right, well, the main event on Saturday night, Gervonta Davis, Mario Barrios. How do you see that fight playing out? Man, that's a, that's, a, that's a good fight. I really don't got no pick, but, you know, um, it's going to be an exciting fight. That's all I can say. It's going to be an exciting fight. I'm looking forward to that. Erickson, in a perfect world on Saturday night, how, you en how do you envision your fight against Jason Rosario going down? Erickson Lubin. I'm not predicting no stoppage or knockout, but Erickson Lubin with the W. That's all that matters. If the knockout comes, it comes. You know, if the stoppage happens, it happens. But I'm predicting the W. For the rest of the super welterweight division, what do you want to tell all those contenders and, and champions that are watching right now? I want them to tune in on Saturday and watch this, watch, watch Hammer Time go to work. Well, Erickson, thank you so much for your time, my man. Greatly appreciate it. Pumped to see you. Go ahead and do your thing on Saturday night. I'll see you this weekend. Going to be in electric atmosphere. It is. It is. Thank you. Thanks for having me.